Hey guys, welcome to this session. Our topic is thermal current electricity. And today let's discuss about the Vetstone bridge and the simple electric circuit. In our past video, we discussed the, about the resistors. So today we are going to see these two devices. So we'll start with the Vetstone bridge. Uh, we'll see the model of action of this uh, Vetstone bridge. Now this uh, Vetstone bridge is just uh, an, ele an electric circuit. Uh, so it's just an electric circuit. And in this uh, Vetstone bridge, it has four resistors. Uh, specifically, it has these four resistors. That is resistor one, resistor two, resistor three, and resistor four, which are connected to end to end with each other to form a closed loop. So you find a post loop of all these uh, four resistances. As you can see that uh, these four resistors give these four resistors that are resistor one, resistor two, resistor three, and uh, resistor four. Now a sensitive galvanometer uh, denoted by letter G is also connected between uh, the adjunctions as shown. You can see here, this is a vegetable bridge so here are the uh, resistors, uh, resistor one, resistor two, resistor three, and resistor four, offering resistance one, resistance two, resistance three, and resistance four. And here is the galvanometer that is connected uh, between them. So the circuit is also provided with the two keys, that is key one and key two. As you can see here, there is uh, key one that is out of this uh, loop of all these resistors and the key two that is put uh, after the galvanometer. Now, the generally, this Western bridge is used to determine unknown resistances. So, this Western bridge is there as it is used to determine the unknown resistance that can be found within electric circuit so i hope it's clear about the model for action and the, the construction of this vestone bridge moving on let's see the simple electric circuit now a collection of all devices such as the resistors uh, can be there as uh, ammeter voltmeter and others uh, and other sources in which terminals are connected together by connecting wires, it's what we call an uh, electric circuit. Now, these are uh, wires that connect uh, all these terminals together. They converge in nodes, and uh, the devices that are uh, called branches of the circuit are there, as shown in the figure below. So. Here is our figure. So these are the ones that connect these various terminals of the various devices. They switch these these three lamps, and there's also source here, which is the battery. So, so these wires are said before the converging nodes, and the devices are called the branches of the circuit, as we we have already seen. Now the general circuit problem is used the and it is used there to find all the currents and the voltages in the branches of the circuit when the intensities of the sources are known. Uh, as we've already discussed with the Ohm's law, now there are from the Ohm's law, you can generate uh, various problems that can be related to the electric circuit. So these various general circuit problems are uh, the ones that are called the circuit uh, an uh, analysis. So they are there just to find the, maybe all the kinds and the voltages in the branches of the circuit when the intensities of the sources are known. Now, uh, while the current in a resistor has a fixed relationship uh, with the voltage across it, the current flowing in a voltage source or the voltage across a current source is theoretically unrestricted and they can assume whatever value governed by the external circuit. So we have to know that while this current in, in a resistor, it can be 
fixed uh, in accordance with the relation with the voltage across it, uh, the current flowing in a voltage source that can either be a battery or, or whatever, or the voltage across a current source is just theoretically unrestricted. And it, it can be assumed whatever value that is there or just governed by the external circuit. So this is a simple electric circuit. Uh, it contains these few devices that are looped and contained together by using the connecting wires. So I'll be square guys, thank you for listening. Uh, in this video, we we'll discussed the, the Bridgestone bridge and the simple uh, electric circuit. We've seen how they are made up and how they function uh, in the, the electronics. Thank you.